Victoria side, those mirrors were installed for a visit of Queen Victoria in 1849. And they have the rather curious and rather lovely little detail that the frame is in the shape of the Queen's crown. In 1965, when a lot of renovation was done here, it was decided it was time to make a few changes. There wasn't going to be a Queen of Parliament sitting on the throne anymore, so the position there was really didn't have any definite purpose, decided to move to one side, it's a matter of historic interest, and to open up where there had been in the past an old opening, put new doors in, and it made the room a lot more flexible and, and more useful for the present day. So that's essentially what happened. The light fitting that's up above me here is uh, dates from 1820. It's a quarter ton of bronze. It's a very heavy fitting. There were five of these fittings in this room. The other four are slightly smaller. They were made here in Dublin in a foundry on the other side in Chancery Lane, which is just over the River Liffey, sort of behind the Four Courts area around there. The, um, it was made to uh, commemorate the Act of Union of 1801. And the way that commemoration is done uh, is by the garland of flowers, well, of flowers and associated bulbs that are underneath the light branches there. That garland has the Rose of England intertwined with the Thistle of Scotland and the Shamrock of Ireland. So it's a rather the three kingdoms united, mm. England, Scotland and Ireland. So it's a rather nice uh, way of doing it, but it's another one of those little symbols of, uh, <coughs> you know, quietly reminding you of where you stood. The, um, the other fittings that were here, two of them are still in, in the castle in the state apartments, and, um, but I'm not sure if we can see them today. And uh, the other two have gone to a place called the Vice Regal Lodge, or what is now better known as Aris and Uchtron, which is uh, basically Gaelic for, or Irish for, the President's home. And that's where the Irish President lives. Now, the Vice Regal Lodge was where in about uh, around the 1820s, the Viceroys and their families decided Dublin was getting very dusty and choky and smelly and so on, and they had this huge country <coughs> estate into the northwest of the city known as the Phoenix Park. So it was seen as a lovely idea, let's move up there, and they would come back here for the season between January and March of every year. And that season was the time when all of the balls and the receptions at court and a lot of that took place. <coughs> so this would be the city apartment, essentially, and so on. Otherwise, one would live up with plenty of fresh air and hunting, shooting, fishing, flocks of deer and everything up in, uh, up in the Phoenix Park. 